We have seven days to basically see the best scenery, hit the best off-road trails we can, um, and hopefully not break anything. Goodbye, wave. sure if we were really gonna go down this trail now we're thinking maybe we'll camp down this trail because all right good morning it is day three of our quest to find amazing camping spots and off-roading trails along the Denali Highway and then over to Paxson they will wrap up mining trail number two it's about 15 miles or so back to the Denali Highway so we'll go back run the Denali Highway a little bit um, probably go down maybe hit an off-road trail along the way get gas uh, hopefully some ice if they have ice and uh, yeah, but first we gotta kind of finish up breakfast and coffees and I'm probably gonna shower, got the uh, Julka shower going and then pack up camp, head down, finish up mining trail number two and then uh, continue on. All right, so we are heading out. Gabe and Denali left already. They went a little bit ahead of us, and so we are gonna go catch up to them. Took our time getting ready, camp shower, all that jazz. And uh, yeah, leaving uh, mining trail number two once we get to the end of it. And then uh, we'll be back on the road. We left camp a little bit stressed from the day before, but little did we know, we had an incredible day ahead of us. So I don't know if you can see it, but way out in the distance there, maybe, let's see if I can use a clear image zoom. Way out in the distance, about center of the lens right now is uh, Denali. See if I can edit it in post to make it a little bit more clear. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see Denali from here. Maybe I'll turn the brightness down a little bit if you can see it better. But. Yeah, Denali is way out there. All right, so we are uh, making our way still down mining trail number two. So we're probably at least like 10 miles or so down the trail and then this direction. And uh, it's kind of funny because somebody, so I was talking to somebody and they said in their post about this trail that uh, it was recently graded. I don't know if it was actually graded because I'm not really sure how you'd get a grader in all these spots out here um, but it's definitely been maintained somewhat recently but it's still 
I wouldn't say quite as uh, easy as the last trail that we did, mining trail number one yesterday. That was like freaking, you could haul a rally car down most of that, maybe sands the river crossings. But uh, this trail is definitely a little bit more bumpy. There's just puddles, you can't really go as fast. So we've just kind of been bumping along here, but you can see somebody like cleared out the brush over here. So maybe it was just a little bit tighter before. Um, and then there's kind of some rumbly parts where it looks like maybe somebody dragged something to try to flatten out parts of it. But as you can probably hear from the bouncing around like that, it is a little bit more of a bumpy trail. We are still making our way down the trail here. Pulled off real quick, a little bit windy today. But uh, it's looking real nice weather-wise. It's a beautiful, clear day. A few miles left. I think uh, Gabe and Denali are gathering some wood now, so that'll be nice for a campfire tonight. Gabe and Denali, I think, need ice. And so hopefully somewhere along the way we'll have some ice. And we'll try to find a camp spot for tonight. So we are moving along on day number three. Dog. We are collecting wood. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Sister. <laughs> Huge log. Huge log. <laughs> trying to figure out the best way to do it. Stacking logs. Should I put them up here, like kind of pin them against the... <laughs> log work. Campfire's about to be sick. So yeah. How do you like that, bro? Comfortable with that? Uh, we'll see once I strap him down. All right. I think it'll be fine. If you aren't comfy, we can come up with another plan. The log aesthetic. This is the first time Danny's used his roof for anything other than Max tracks. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like $300 but he does have a topo fairing. My god. That's how you know he gets off-road. <laughs> I'm surprised somebody with raptor lights has been off-road this much. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? There's no raptor lights. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, that's gonna suck the fuck it. Just renewing it. <laughs> Dogs and logs, dude. Mishka, you can be a campfire dog. Ooh, that gay ass though. Hmm. Tired. Ooh, he's got gloves on too. He's extra safe. He's got his PPE. <laughs> I do have a PPE. <laughs> Gabe just cut up a bunch of wood for us. Brought the chainsaw, which was the move. I wish I brought a chainsaw. I need to go buy one. Um, but yeah, we are about towards the end of mining trail number two right now. Uh, we might hit an off-road trail on the way. Try to scope out a potential water crossing. It might be deep. I'm not really sure. Hopefully, it's not deep because the weather lately has been pretty good. Um, but we'll see. And then head a little bit further down the highway. Probably camp a little bit towards the end, more towards the packs inside. And then we kind of begin our Paxson slash Delta Junction area off-roading. We've had really good camp spots, so I think so far for our seven day trip, uh, day one and two camp spots were pretty dang good. So hopefully nights three through six will be just as good. Kai, going back to work. Fortunately. So we just said bye to Kelsey and Kai as they head back to uh, get back jobbing it. And then we are continuing down the Denali Highway here. Uh, Gabe and Denali went a little bit before us. So we'll catch up to them in a little bit. And then hopefully find a good spot to camp on uh, day three today. And maybe have some running water so people can take showers if they want. Danny and I took shower this morning. Um, but I would imagine the others probably want to take a hot shower. So hopefully we uh, can find a, a good spot with some running water nearby. So we're uh, heading down the road here still, Danny and I, hopefully catch up to Denali and Gabe. 
Um, just finished up having lunch. I think this section of road is like chip and seal or something. It's not quite gravel. Um, I know they do chip and seal some places around here. I should probably know, but I don't know for sure. And then looking for our camp spot tonight, as you can see, the uh, kind of foliage that we got going on here, we've pretty much just broken out of the trees. And so there's, you know, occasional trees here and there. I think the rest of the road's gonna be kind of like this, where it's basically low brush and minimal trees. Got the Alaska Range off to our left here. Danny and I are heading down this little off-road trail here. Denali and Gabe are uh, over down at the gas station. So we are going to see how far we can make it over there. There's one water crossing. Maybe it's sketchy, I don't really know. If it is, we'll just turn around. But yeah, there's a glacier over there. So let's find out. I think this is a mining trail too. Um, so maybe mining trail number three. I'll, uh, I'll correct that in post if this isn't a mining trail. Okay, so this is the river crossing. But it looks kind of deep. And then there's another river crossing on the other side. So I think I'm gonna wait out there, see how deep it is. And I wanna get a look at the other side before I commit to going across this first part here. Cause if we cross the first part, but then the second part's not crossable, uh, that would not be good because there's not really a ton of room to turn around. So, probably check out this first crossing. All right, so this is doable. Uh, it wasn't really up past like mid thigh on me. And I'm about, you know, uh, heaping 5'11 and a half. Um, the next one was kind of weird. So I think it looked like it could be shallow, but it also looked like it was running more. So I think what we're gonna do is drive over there. There was room to turn around. And then I'm gonna maybe hook some toe straps up to me or my winch line or something. Yeah, I made my winch line and then uh, send me across. See if, see if I can go across. And if not, then we'll just turn around and come back. Yeah. I don't know if this was the best way to test out this river, but it's what we thought of and I figured, hey, if I can walk across it, I can get back like we did with the crossing just before it. But this one was running pretty fast, so he hooked me up just in case.
All right. So I don't know how well you can hear me because uh, the river's running, but this is our rigging. Two tree straps and a uh, snap strap right here. The orange snap strap, all ARB. Daddy's got back up so we can get it taut so we're not getting wrapped around nothing. Got the soft shackles too. Let's turn it that way a little. Oh, right, so other way, other way. You good, straight back. Straight back. Yeah. So, still on nothing getting wrapped around anything. That's what's good. All right. That was pretty nuts. The action cam got turned a little bit sideways there, but uh, it was good. Danny couldn't see the rope for a second there, so he told me to give it the beans, so I just started giving it the beans. Giant horsefly. And uh, yeah, but we made it across. The water's definitely moving, um, but it was a little unnerving, <laughs> but uh, we, we did it. So a little trail update here. Um, Danny and I are a few miles in. Uh, past that crossing and uh, Denali and Gabe just made it across the crossing. I believe we're just letting the comms go clear um, Just in case they need to talk to each other, but yeah, we're uh, just kind of bumping along here Pretty pretty smooth going trail for mining trail number three We weren't even sure if we were really gonna go down this trail now We're thinking maybe we'll camp down this trail because the camping spot we had I think I said earlier was uh, for day three was somewhere along the highway. And if we can be way out here, away from people, and the dogs can run as free as they want, then I'm all for that. So um, yeah, maybe we will camp out here. Maybe we'll camp on the other side of the river, the side that we came from, just as a precaution. Not really sure. Danny and I are kind of scouting out the trail for Denali and Gabe, and uh, we'll find out after that. We were completely unfamiliar with this area, so Danny went and scouted the trail that looked like it went to the glacier ahead. Meanwhile, I used my drone here to scout out this trail that looked promising, and Gabe and Denali were making their way to us. Danny had a hard time while he was scouting finding that trail that went to the glacier, but as I was scouting with my drone, I noticed this trail that went up into the mountains, and it looked amazing. So we all decided that we'd make it up that way. Danny backtracked his way over to me, and him and I headed up this trail, and Denali and Gabe weren't far behind. Us. All right, so we're taking a quick stop here as you can see my cool attempts at 208 just after doing all that hill climb So let the engine cool down then we're also kind of low on gas So uh, gonna fill up uh, with the jerry cans that I have All right, we are all here. We're gonna drive one more hour and find a camp spot. And Denali's laughing. I, I just, I, don't, I didn't think I'd be friends with such popular influence. <laughs> For all three people that watch this video, I swear to God, one more hour to camp. <laughs> Hi Brad, miss you. <laughs>
At this point, everybody was getting pretty tired and they all wanted to set up camp. But I felt like this trail actually went somewhere. So I said, hey, you guys hold up here and I'll go ahead and scout out the trail. And it was worth it. Check out what I found, an abandoned mining cabin at the end of the valley overlooking these incredible mountains. I radioed everyone further back and said, hey, you guys got to see where this trail ends. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me well. It's a little bit windy, but there's a cabin out here. I don't know when the last time anybody's been here has been, but uh, it looks like it's been a while. Um, but these trails are crazy. Basically just goes forever. They're kind of all over the place here and uh, probably some mining stuff so I feel safe to say that this is mining trail number three and uh, I say we maybe go inside and take a peek. Here bud! Ooh, uh, let me put the wide angle lens on here. Buddy? Okay, I got the wide angle lens on, so hopefully we can see this a little bit better on the inside here. Turn the ND down. Oh, Mishka, I don't know if I'd go in here, bro. Okay, so this is it. Flammable liquid. There you go, danger flammable liquid. Uh, okay. Look at that. That's somebody who's been here in, within the 21st century. Maybe, maybe it's older than that, I don't know. Hey, Mishka, be careful. Holy shit, hey, no, 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 hey, no, no. There's a lot of nails coming out of the ground here. I don't want Mishka to step on one of them. I don't really want to step on one either, but. <laughs> oh, this is unstable. <laughs> Creaky. Okay, so it looks like it's a building of sorts. Maybe for the mining operation. It's definitely been definitely been trashed a little bit. Nice little fridge. Got Mishka in my arm here. Hey, look, there's me. Yeah, right, I see. Maybe there's an inspection date on this boiler. Yeah, there is. Uh, no, yearly cost. Okay, that's the energy efficiency thing. Uh, I don't know. Is there an inspection date? There's gotta be. These things usually have a lifespan. Any date? I don't see any date. So, I'm not sure. There's no date on this. It's gotta be a manufacturer date because they have like warranties and everything. But I don't know. Maybe I'm blind. I'm just not seeing it. There's a lot of words here. I'm not reading them all, but. 
I don't see it. Yeah, yeah. definitely careful walking around here. You got a look at that building fan. Keep the air fresh. Broken mug. This place has just been destroyed here. Turn the exposure down. You can maybe see the mountains through there. Yeah. Oh, I hear one of the buddies. Boys, are you here? Do I hear you? Yeah, we're here. Fuck yeah, can you... I parked right there just so I could get a picture, so if you guys could just park a little bit back so I can have a paper real quick. Yeah, we're not there there yet. You still got a little time. Okay, I'm in this. Oh, look at this. Pacifico Clara. Take your picture though real quick. Alright, so it is beautiful out here. Perfect scenery. The bad news is that I parked right by a bunch of nails. So I picked them all up. I didn't see any of my tread. Probably burned stuff right here. I probably should have checked that before I parked here, being near an old abandoned building. But uh, I didn't. So I try to pick them all up off the ground. Hopefully tomorrow I don't get any new ones. Or I don't get any. Hopefully I don't have any now. We'll see. And then we got uh, Denali setting up there, Danny off to the left, and uh, Gabe setting up right behind Denali. Alright, kind of a mess in the back seat here because of all the trail shenanigans we had going on. But uh, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna make a peak refuel meal because it's fast and easy. I reckon chicken alfredo pasta it is. 830 calories. I need food. This isn't steak, it's just Angus. So. Got the beef man. Ooh, that looks so good. She's like, no, don't torture me. That's one tired bowl. What do you got? Just, you know, picking some parsley in front of this view. Making some dinner. We have some Japanese braised pork belly. Some uh, roasted cauliflower out that of in there? mom's garden. That's hey, homegrown yeah. cauliflower. Shit. Cilantro, cilantro rice. Oh, it's beer. Yeah. With Cali. But you do have microwave rice. That's I not do. very gay of you. No, we aren't doing, <laughs> we aren't making from scratch tonight. Beyond that. Meat screws. <laughs> oh, that's I right. have a cookie here. Then You're go. aspirating. Photosynthesizing. Photosynthesizing. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here in the sun. Just... Soaking it in. I mean, it is pretty easy to soak in. Jesus. Yay. Oh. Oh, nails. And... Floorboard cracked in. Nails. This is the police. You said there's glass in the glass shelves in here? Oh, yeah, in that one. For Jer. Oh, look at that. If you, like, pull open that thing. Uh, that's Ooh. off one, sorry. Oh. 
Oh, hey, look at this. There's styrofoam in that one. Styrofoam coats in this one. Let's see if I can get this in focus. The Road to Heaven. Austin, Texas. Capital City Baptist Church. Give them a call, folks. Over Hershey's bar. Nice. Stainless steel, Japan. Washboard, if I messed up that. And then there's a big, like, uh, old school basin. Oh, for the washing the clothes? Washboard, yeah, it's like, uh, you know, like the old pea Yeah. Ooh, they got a little, was it like a fuel filter? Yep. Hell yeah, bro, fuel filter. <laughs> this is cool. There's a ladder. What if we need a ladder? <laughs> uh, there's a whole ping pong table out there that's no. amazing. In this little side room? Oh, look at that. What's that? Ooh, chicken breast in a can. <laughs> yeah. Anybody want chicken breast in a can? Yummy. Nails coming out of the pores. <laughs> Alright, where is it? Oh, sh Oh, we gotta set this up. Are there paddles? I didn't look that closely. Oh, man. No way. It's a ping pong table. All right, exiting building. Oh God, there's nails coming out of everything. There's a ping pong table in there, but there's no pong or paddle. Plenty of wood around here. Yeah, we just need a tennis ball. So. <laughs> All right, walking back down to the cruiser. I think my food is ready. Hopefully. So it was extremely windy, so I'm testing my uh, wireless mic right on the top panel here, so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better without the noise. I'm bougie, dude. Oh, uh, you'll... Uh, yeah, look. Well, it comes with it. a hook, and then you can well, Velcro a little mirror there, too, to yeah. shave with. Oh, I didn't Sorry. bring a razor. Huh? Okay. huh? Oh, I didn't. I'm gonna look like a bum. Oh, shit. The wind was too much for my microphone at this point, but I walked a ways up to the flowing stream. This was really an incredible day, and we were all in awe of what we had stumbled upon.
All right, the wind might be a little bit loud, so hopefully you can hear me, but we are uh, getting ready to go to bed here. It turned out to be a really great day. We did not anticipate camping down here, um, but I mean, this is an awesome trail. This was a really cool spot to come. The cabin was definitely something special. And uh, yeah, we're glad we found it. There's plenty of things to find out here in Alaska. So I would say day three was a, a pretty good success. We made it to camp in time and uh, just had a, a really great time. I got some photos uh, up top on the little ridge above our camp there. So hopefully those come out nice. And uh, yeah, it was really just an amazing day. I mean, I really couldn't ask for anything better. This trail was super scenic. I'm glad we hit it. It was just gonna be a side excursion that we did. And uh, we weren't even sure if we were really gonna do it. And we were just like, no, well, whatever, let's just go bump down that trail. So bump down the trail. Uh, we got another trail tomorrow, another mining trail. So it'll be mining trail number four and uh hopefully day four is a uh, is a good day we're open for good weather as well so we will uh, see you in the morning